Praise the Lord. I welcome you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for today's Blazing Bush devotion. The devotionals for your holistic healing. I am Reverend Dr. R. Samuel Krubagaran, pastor of Indian Church in Richmond, Virginia. I declare grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters, brothers and children in Christ, we are familiar with the word power, the power of the leaders, the power of the people and the power of the wind. Paul is talking about a different but important power that we all should have. What is that power? It is the power of the gospel. Yes, it is the power of the gospel. So what power does the gospel have in it for you and me? Today, we have a guest speaker, Brother Blessy Jacob, who is going to talk about the power of the gospel. Come on, let us listen to the word of God through Brother Jacob. For today's meditation, let us look to the letter to the Romans Chapter 1, verses 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. First for the Jew, then for the Gentiles. When we meditate upon this verse, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Today, if you look at the world around us, if we are the proponents of the truth, will the world accept us or will it reject? Gospel means good news. Is it really a good news? It depends upon the person who take the news to analyze and see whether it is a good or a bad news. For those who would love to live in unrighteousness and in wickedness, this gospel or the good news that Christ died for our sins and rose again from the dead and was seen by more than 500 brothers at a time. Is that a good news to them? Probably not. Because they have gained much by their wickedness and have served the devil to the fullest. For them who do not want to leave their path of unrighteousness and wickedness and all things that come with it. They see this news as not as a good news but a bad news. And that's why Paul also tells in Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18, the first Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So it is up to the listener to understand or analyze and say, yes, it is a good news. To them, those who trust in Jesus, to them it is a good news. Because in the following verse, it says, For in the gospel a righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith, from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. For us to please God, we need to have faith. To look to God, we need to have faith. 
and without faith it is impossible to please God so this gospel we who are saved should not be ashamed and the cross is not for our shame but for our everlasting life may god bless us with this verse i am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of god for the salvation of everyone who believes praise be to god thank you let us pray teacher god i pray that we will never be ashamed of the gospel thank you lord thank you so much for your gentle reminder about lord the power of the gospel today i pray god that you give us the chance to share the gospel with others no matter who they are give us the power and courage to share our faith with others and prepare their hearts to receive you father god i pray that like paul yes lord like paul we will boldly proclaim the gospel of christ to all with whom we come in contact knowing that only in christ is there life and light only in christ is there hope and love knowing that the gospel of christ is the power of god unto salvation to all who believe on him yes lord the christ who died and rose from the dead to christ be all praise and glory world without end amen and now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit give you and all of us the power of the gospel to proclaim god's good news to this world amen dear brothers sisters and children in christ go in peace god bless you amen